thank you, Holy Spirit, that you touch each and every heart in this place today. We thank you that we can surrender today, Father. We can surrender our lives. Father, we surrender all today. We come before your throne. We thank you, Father. That we can be part, Father, of the wave of love, of the wave of the Son of God, the way of the Word. Father, thank you for the authority that you can release into the body of Christ. We give you praise for that today, Lord. Thank you for the flow of your spirit in your body, Father. That each and every person, Father, is going to be alive unto the things of God. And we honor you for that, Lord. We honor you, we honor you. We honor you, Father. Hallelujah. Jesus. Peace not the river.
that there are some people here this morning that are standing and saying, Lord, it's okay for all these other people to sing that, but I can't sing that because you, don't, you know what I do, what I did, even this morning. And I want to tell you that the Lord says that His goodness to you does not depend on you. Yes. Thank you, Lord. It comes from Him. Yes. When He died on the cross, He paid the full price. You don't have to pay any price. You don't have to feel guilty because God is good. Amen. Last night I, I just felt um, like God was telling me to, to go to John again. Um, and he actually, he took me, initially he took me to John 10 where it talks about Jesus being the good shepherd. And I thought that that was what God was um, just sharing with my heart. But he, um, I, I started reading just some of the chapters before that. And he took me to um, John 8. Um, and there's a lot there, but I, I, I just felt like um, the word that was just shared now as well that this ties into it. Um, so I just want to read from John 8 verse 31. Jesus said to those Jews who believed him, if you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And then they answered him, we are Abraham's descendants and have never been in bondage to anyone. How can you say you'll be made free? And Jesus answered them and said, I say to you, whoever commits sin is a slave of sin. And a slave does not abide in the house forever, but a son abides forever. And then Jesus said, Therefore, if the son makes you free, you shall be free indeed. And just before that, he said, You will know the truth. If we abide in him, we will know the truth. And that same truth will set us free. Um, and, and I just felt God saying that initially... Um, from, from the scripture, we can see that, that some of us, like um, the word that was just shared, we, we might be enslaved to sin. We might be under the burden of it or the condemnation of it. Um, and, and Jesus is saying that a slave doesn't abide in the house forever, but the son does. Um, and, and likewise, in, in that period of time, um, the servants were a part of, of the household, but they, they weren't um, entitled to, yes. to anything. Um, and, and so Jesus says the Son will make you free from, from that sin, but also He will take away the, the title of servant, and he, he has the authority to say that now I acknowledge you as a son of the Son as well. Amen. And so the slave will yes. not abide in us forever, but the Son Jesus. will. And so I just feel that God is saying that there are many of you who still think that you are servants of the house, that you are still slaves, but God wants to, by His Son, by that truth, set you free. And Jesus is saying that I acknowledge you as a son and a daughter of this house. Amen. 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 Thank, you. Thank you, Josh. Thank you. Those of you who need a miracle, I want you to get ready. I'm trusting God this morning with you for a miracle. Those who have their name tags, I want you all to come to the front here and face the people, please, because I want you to pray for them. I um, want you all to come and just stand in the front here and face the people. These are the people who are going to be praying for you. They'll be laying hands on you. And they will trust God with you as we are this morning. What we do ask you though, there's one thing that we have in this particular body, part of the body of Christ. There's something I'm very passionate about. There's, well, two things I'm very passionate about. is to trust God for your breakthrough, for your miracle, for your healing. And to say thank you. Because when he does it, it there's something that grieves my spirit is when God does so much for people. Afterwards, he deserves a testament. He deserves it. So what we would like to ask you, we're going to pray for you. That's how confident I am this morning. Not in any of our abilities, but in who he is. But when we pray for you now for your miracles and your breakthrough, that you will have the audacity to come back here. And come and share with us what God has done. Amen. Amen. Those of you who need a miracle, please come and line up with these people. We're going to just play something in the background. And I want you to come and trust God for your miracle and your breakthrough this morning. Whatever it is, whether it be financial, family, work situation. If you guys can just stand a little bit forward, you're just about on the screen there. Thank you, guys. Um, please, those of you who need a miracle, please come and these people are going to pray for you. Whatever it is, let your request be made known unto the Lord. Come forward to the prayers and they're going to pray for you. Come, guys, don't be shy. 
This is a day of miracles and a day of breakthrough and healing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. All blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Lord.